Hi, my name is Salima Conti, and I am a second year internal medicine resident at Christiana Care. What is internal medicine? Internal medicine is the general practice of medicine. We learn about all different specialties of medicine and can do management for a multitude of different things. We can work as hospitalists for patients who are admitted, as well as primary care physicians. Internal medicine is also a gateway to a lot of the different specialties um, that are out in the medical profession, including cardiology and gastroenterology. Most of the providers that work as such have done training in internal medicine prior to going into these specialties. How did you decide on internal medicine as a specialty? So when I was in medical school, going through all of the different rotations that we were exposed to, I realized that I liked a little bit of everything. And internal medicine was the right profession for me because it allows me to learn about everything. It was very hard for me to choose just one specialty that I think I would excel in. So what better way to get to learn a little bit of each than going into internal medicine? What is the average compensation for your specialty? So the average compensation um, in the nation for internal medicine physicians is around $230,000. What's the value of mentorship? How has it helped you? The value of mentorship is very significant. For me, primarily, I think having mentors, especially those who look like me, working um, in the field of medicine allows me to know that this is something that I too can do. Growing up, I really did not see a lot of um, African-American physicians. My initial exposure to them was when I worked as a scribe in the emergency department, and it was a great exposure because these were people that I could relate to and allowed me to push for this career even more. Who is likely to succeed in your specialty? So I think anyone is likely to succeed in this field, no matter what background or life experiences you've had. As long as you are determined to put in the work um, and want to be an internal medicine physician, there's really not much that can stop you from doing it. What's the percentage of underrepresented minorities in your specialty? So in terms of residents, there's 10% that um, identify as underrepresented minorities, and regarding practice and physicians, there's 16% who identify as underrepresented minorities. Do we need more underrepresented minorities in your specialty? I think we need more representation in the field because for anyone growing up wanting to um, pursue a certain profession, it really helps to see that there are people like them who are in these pr professions and have been able to succeed. That not only allows them to know that this is something that is feasible, but also allows them to not feel isolated. Could you please describe your typical workday to someone who might be considering your specialty? My typical workday varies um, depending on if I'm inpatient or outpatient. On a typical inpatient day, we get here around 6 a.m. We would get sign out from the night team and then start seeing the patients that are admitted to our service. We do this until around 9 a.m. when we get with the rest of our team and discuss the patients and the plans for today. The afternoon is really just filled with um, medical management, working with our consultants and doing some dispositions if there are um, patients on our list that can go home. If it's an outpatient day, however, we typically start around 8 a.m. and you could have anywhere from 5 to 12 patients on a typical day. And these visits last from about 20 to 40 minutes doing different things like diabetes management, high blood pressure, or even an acute complaint that a patient may come in with. What's your advice for those interested in becoming an internist? My advice would be for anyone who's interested in becoming an internal medicine physician, if your heart is really set on it, then go for it. Be determined and put in the work and ultimately try to find mentors, whether it's in this specific field or medicine as a whole, who can help guide you through some of the challenges that you may come across. What is the relevance of platforms like these? I believe that platforms as such are really important. They allow young individuals who are interested in going into medicine to see people who look like them and also depict the diversity of individuals who are practicing physicians today. What's your hope for the future of internal medicine? My hope for the future of internal medicine is that we continue to promote diversity, continue to do adequate recruitment um, so that the public knows that this is not a specialty for a certain type of individual. Anyone can be an internal medicine physician.